It was back in the uh, early 80s. I was a very young surf caster and I managed to get my hands on one of Lefty's original plugs. That's Lefty Carr, builder from New Jersey. Um, very hard to get, full epoxy sealed plugs. And, and I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this plug thinking it's the magic lure. And I caught more fish on that plug than probably on any other I ever had. And one day, one of New Jersey's yellow-eyed devil bluefish came and bit it off the end of my line, and I was heartbroken. I don't think I caught a fish for two weeks after losing that plug. Of course, it was magic. You know, it had nothing to do with me fishing. It was all the magic of the plug. And at that point, I searched and tried, and I couldn't get anybody to part with one. I was willing to pay a week's salary, which was probably about like $16 at the time. But uh, couldn't get one, and I decided, well, you know what? If Lefty can build them, I can too. And I tried it, and he was my initial inspiration from it. When I designed this plug, I wanted something for the changing water conditions that I fish. Um, I wanted a lure that would work well on top, which you take this cast it out, bring your line tight, and start a slow retrieve, and it will dance side to side right across the top of the water. Now as you're fishing, you're retrieving, you're starting to come near the bar, the waves are starting to break. Drop your rod tip, crank it a few times, the plug will dive under, hold six, six inches to a foot underneath the top of the water. Continue to swim right through the, uh, right through the breakers. If you needed to go deeper, just keep cranking it. I've had this thing down to six to eight feet on a, on a sandy bottom or it'll run clean across the top. No adjustments at all necessary. Um, this spoon lip I had specifically designed and manufactured for these lures. Uh, this thing will cover any of the water columns just on your retrieve speed. So instead of having to worry about bending wires, taking your pliers out, changing adjustments on a plug, just alter your retrieve. When I started building these plugs, our predominant bay fish were mullet and peanut bunker. And being a deeper bodied fish, I was trying to more emulate their style. And I also wanted a plug that was a little bit heavier as I fish a lot of conventional tackle. And anything under two ounces is a little rough for me in the wind. I'm not completely a believer that a wooden swimmer should only swim directly on top. I think you should be able to drop your rod tip, pull it down, and let it hold in current because mainly I like to fish white water and I like to fish a lot of wind in my face. A lot of collections, a lot of fond memories from over the years, plugs from a lot of friends, prototypes I built, stuff that I fish every day, and stuff that hasn't been touched since I got my hands on it. All the plugs are through wired. 16th of an inch 308L stainless steel, uh, hand bent wire hangers, inserted into the hollow hole in the bottom of the body. Press them, seat them all the way in, take my lip, fasten it into the slot, then same 308 wire all the way through. So now I have a hanger that's not going to pull out of here even without the epoxy. I finish up my tail wraps, use my static mixer, fill the cavity of the plug up with epoxy, and set it aside to dry. I'm very flattered by the compliment and, I, and I'm honored that people think my painting skills are that good. Um, yeah, I try and do a nice job on it because it's a matter of personal fly, but just remember something. They're all made to fish. Get them out there and put them in the water.